It's late night in the afternoon where Leno steals his monologue jokes. Today's host, Gary Cannon. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Late Night in the Afternoon. That's right. We received all of your emails and all of your letters, maybe two of them, and I'm hosting today's show. So buckle in. Let's get right to the news. Republican Senate candidate Ken Bach, he's in hot water, after being caught on tape for calling Tea Party members dumbasses. The embarrassed Bach said he was very sorry and apologized to dumbasses everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump's daughter, Ivanka, is set to release a new line of handbags. The daughter of the Donald is excited about the bags because they will capture her own personality as the bags will be beautiful on the outside and empty on the inside. <laughs> Ann Coulter appeared on Joy Behar's show last night and boners nationwide took a well-deserved 60-minute break. <laughs> I think Joy Behar's boner was included in that, too. Can I say that? No, I, say, I think I just said it. Let's move on. A man dressed as Darth Vader robbed a bank in New York City. After hours of studying video of the robbery, police say it has a much better plot than Phantom Menace. <laughs> Phantom Menace was garbage. <laughs> At Comic-Con, Samuel L. Jackson announced that he, along with Robert Downey Jr., and the lovely... Scarlett Johansson, who I made out with one time, would headline the upcoming superhero epic, The Avengers. Jackson said the project really spoke to his artistic need for a really big paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> Zsa, Zsa Gabor is recovering at an LA hospital after emergency hip surgery. When asked to comment, a rep for the 93-year-old actress told reporters, Zsa, Zsa Gabor, I think she died in 93. I think 93, right? Rest in peace, Jaja. R.I.P. Z.Z. I think her Facebook says she's actually 82. The federal government has enacted a government waste bill. The research for the bill took only 18 months. 7,500 federal employees working full time. 52,000 rooms of paper. A camel. Four ferrets. A rhinoceros. 11 virgins to sacrifice, 4 Major League Baseball players to be named later, and a partridge in a pear tree. Only 172 shopping days till Christmas. Get on it. We always end LNA with good news and bad news. Today is no exception. Why would it be? I am celebrity guest hosting. The bad news. Scorching heat in Washington, D.C. caused dozens of Boy Scouts to collapse during a parade to celebrate 100 years of scouting. The good news. Dozens of scouts received the coveted sunstroke badge. That's it, everybody, for LNA. Thank you for watching. Get back to work, and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs>